Hey guys, so um, I was sent this link like to like a certain video by one of my subscribers. She sent me this link and she just wanted to ask me just basically um, what did I think about this debate that she showed me on a link? So she, like, I don't think she was trying to be mean or anything, but she was just like trying to like just show me just, she just wanted to get my thoughts on the situation. So her and I talked and everything like that. And like, so I just decided to also just make the video just to explain to everybody, um, all the subscribers about this video. So in the video, there was some, it's a, it's a short video, like, and I didn't, quite get the name of the guy I don't even know who he was but he was actually debating um a younger lady in the crowd or something about like you know debunking all these transgender arguments and everything so basically like from what I got I didn't think like he was necessarily being like hateful but he was just trying to like maybe provoke people to think and like maybe just to see different perspectives and just to understand and so yeah so it was like to me in my opinion it wasn't like any type of bashing or dragging or anything like that but I thought that it was like maybe good arguments and stuff like that just trying to yeah so basically like in the video he basically said um basically that he respects the humanity of like transgender people and everything but like basically like should it should transgenderism be made to be like necessarily pushed in people's faces and everything like for example like he just didn't feel like that you can just like basically just wake up and say hey um be a girl and say hey like i want to be a boy or hey um i'm a girl i'm a boy and i want to be called a girl like and to an extent i kind of agreed to him on that fact because i just don't feel that you know you have to i feel like you have to do something to prove like you are like what you claim to be and everything like you can't just say like for example you can't just say um when he brought up the legalities and stuff, I feel like that's different. But it's like, for example, I can't just um, be in a relationship with somebody and just say, hey, we're married and this is how things should go. It's like, when I, ha I don't have any type of legal paperwork to show that I'm legally bonded to the person. So, yeah, that's my only thing that I'll probably disagree with him about. And basically, he respected the humanity and everything. So, I just didn't think... Um, he was like being hateful and everything so and also brought up the fact that it is um called you know gender identity disorder because like according to the dsm which is a diagnostic statistics manual like gender identity disorder um gender dysmorphia basically um transgenderism is classified as a mental illness psychological disorder and you know just me just trying to think critically um getting um, my emotions out of the way, um, just thinking critically, like, I do think, when I think hard and I think deep, I do think that um, transgenderism is indeed, like, a mental illness. And, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, maybe it might be confusing to some people to say, like, hey, like, I admit that I am mentally ill. And if you think hard about it, I think that, yes, um, people who are transgender are mentally ill not that obviously i don't think i'm a bad person or anything it makes me like it should make me less of a human being or anything but if you think hard about it it's like you know just thinking it's like it's not normal like for like somebody who's born a certain gender in society like and then you say you claim you want to be come or feel like the a member of the other gender so I was just like thinking, you know, just stuff like that just makes me think really hard. And um, yeah, so, um, and then he brought up something about like, you know, the Boy Scouts, basically, if you want to be in the Boy Scouts, you have to be born a boy and you have to be a boy and born a boy. But in that a aspect, I feel like I, I disagree because like, with that point, I was just like, no, it's like, if a child was born female but identifies as male and has been like you know has been um psychologically like assessed by a psychologist and and stuff like that like i feel like and there's proper paperwork to go with it i feel like th that girl should have a right to to join the boy scouts biological girl but now a boy so yeah he brought up that argument and um 
yeah but something like just he he, he, made some, he said something a bit silly where he said something about like can the girl be called a moose because she wants to be a moose and i was just like you can't compare a species like and i'm just like yeah so um and then she's she's then asked why isn't she not 60 if she doesn't want to be 60 then i don't know so and that actually reminds me there was actually a situation um I forgot the situation. I forgot the name, but there was this one old man who then identified as a small, a little girl. So he then wanted to be raised as a little girl, got adopted, and now that you know, the scenarios. I'm not sure if people might know what I'm talking about, but it's basically like um, he was an older man. You could see that he was a fully grown man, but he wanted to be adopted and play with little girls and everything like that, and say he's now a little girl, and that's how he identified that. And you know, it's just situations like that which makes it maybe harder for people to accept and take transgender people seriously because i was just like in my mind even though i'm transgender so i try to be understanding and an embracing of other people's differences i just thought that that was just like very um taking things a little too far for me even i was just like dude like uh-uh like i was just like like i wouldn't feel comfortable like having a somebody like that around my kids so I was just like yeah and um yeah he basically brought up like even sterilization of the mentally ill I feel like that was wrong because like even though maybe it might have been legal I don't not know but I feel like people who are mentally ill like I feel like sterilization or abortion sterilization um vasectomy circumcision like female genital mutilation I feel like that should be done only with your consent so with that i thought wasn't wasn't a good point of his in that argument so yeah and then he brought up like transgender suicide rates and said like because you know it is true it's not that he said but i'm just saying i know it's true that transgender suicide is about like 40 percent or something like it's higher um than most people the transgender suicide rates and everything and um he then asked like is that more about transgender people wanting to commit suicide based more on like how they feel within themselves or is it more about outer factors like how society perceives them and treats them and um you know speaking from experience like it's not for me personally i feel like um for years i felt uncomfortable with my skin in within my skin yes and there have been times that i've also felt suicidal but that's f far in the past like um I'm just saying when I was younger, like just, you know, discomfort within myself and everything. But then as I got older and um, I became more passable, more comfortable in my skin, like having gone through my surgeries and everything like that. And now it's like, I feel like, you know, more comfortable in my skin, even though, yes, people can be bigots in society. I feel like I'm now more comfortable in my skin and a much stronger person. And so it's like it gets to me less and then. Yeah, and he also argued that, you know, with um, black people, he said something about, like, you know, because it's there's a lot of um, racism in society sometimes, and how come black people and people in third world countries are not as suicidal as um, non-black people? And, you know, I just thought hard. That actually made me think hard, like, as to, you know, does he have a good argument there? And, you know, I was just thinking that maybe black people and other people of color sometimes are not as successful to bull to suicide because you know um i know especially in the black american communities like you know there's there's a lot of like you know people are very like religious very spiritual and everything like that i feel like you know just like you know how it's like you know in the bible or something it says um you go to hell or something if you commit suicide there's lots of like you know like people t saying you shouldn't um commit suicide otherwise you'll be punished and all that stuff so i think that maybe that could have a factor to do with it and like you know yeah and it's like you know it just made me think hard like you know just you know i just don't want to completely dismiss everything that guy said the gentleman in that video in the video and um i just, it just made me want to think hard like just you know just to think hard about everything he said and even things that i've heard in the past and you know just me think hard you know getting my emotions out of it not quickly getting you know like that but just calming down just thinking logically and just trying to see different perspectives you know like different cognitions across cultures and societies and um be a bit more mature about it and um yeah so that's just my thoughts on the whole video and um always and as far as my live stream i'm thinking like maybe um 
to postpone it to tomorrow just because I'm not sure if I'm feeling a live stream tonight so yeah so please like comment subscribe and share my video and I'll sh see you all in the next one